Welcome to the Gospel of Explosions Word Ministry of Sardis, Georgia. Our location is 811 Sap Street. Our pastor is the Honorable Bishop Willie Jones Jr. Our service time as it follows Tuesday Bible study at 7.30, Sunday 10 a.m. prayer, 10.15 Sunday school, 11 a.m. morning worship. You are cordially invited to worship with us during our services. Thank you from yours truly, Miranda Pierce of the Gospel of Explosion Word Ministry.
wanna thank. I just want to thank. You just wanna thank. I just want to thank. You just wanna name of Jesus. I bring you greetings from 811 Sap Street in the city of Sardis, Georgia at Gospel Explosion Word Ministry under the direction of none other than our Honorable Bishop Willie Jones Jr. I greet you in that powerful name of Jesus. Our lesson today is coming from the book of Nehemiah, the eighth chapter, and only the 10th verse. That's the book of Nehemiah 8 and only the 10th verse. And today our topic will be, go and eat what is rich. Go and eat what is rich. Now, glory to God, when you become, amen, a righteous person, amen, your life isn't over. I know many people feel like when you become a Christian, you all bound up, you all tensed up, but the Bible says, go eat the richness of the land. He told Adam and Eve in the garden, he said, you can live your life to the fullness 100%, but only eat the good, leave the evil alone. See, this is the key to living a life. Glory to God. When you become a Christian, when you know that you are living all that you know how to live. Only you and God know whether you holy or unholy. People judgment of you, people opinion of you, people what they say they think about you, their ideas, their theology about you is irrelevant. Only God know your story and God got the record. Glory to God. They may have the rumor. But God is the only one that keeps a record. But when you know, it's not about what other people know. It's about what you know within. When you know you are a righteous person <laughs> and you're living all that you know how to do, glory to God, you're not perfect because there is nothing perfect but the word of God. So that when you get the word of God, because it is perfection, it perfects every imperfect area in your life, then you are able to live the way he wants you to live. When you read the word of God, he tell you what he agree with. He tell you what he don't agree with. Glory to God. So the opinions of people don't matter. It's what God thinks. When you read the word, see, that's what's wrong now. Glory to God. A lot of people don't even know what's in the word. Why? Because they don't read the Bible. Glory to God. They don't read the Bible. They don't know their rights. They don't know their benefits. They don't know anything. They don't like Bible study. They don't like Sunday school. They don't like morning worship. All they want to do, glory to God, hallelujah, is do what they do. But you have to take out time to learn your rights, to learn your benefits. The Bible said, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all oh, that is within me. And most of all, forget not your benefits. There are benefits in God. See, we are the light of the world. And we cannot present gloom and doom to the world. Glory to God, because God is a happy God. God is a joy for God. So the leader stood up. And he told the people, you know how it is, glory to God, when you try to walk to walk, when you try to talk to talk, sometimes you become, amen, no earthly good for anyone. Because you live in a tense life. When you walking after the word, doing what the word say, you got no business being tensed up. Live. The leader stood up, Nehemiah said, go and eat the richness, 
Glory to God. Drink what is sweet and send out portion to those who have nothing to prepare. How you going to send something when you are not even reaping the benefits that God says that you can have in his word? David said, the Lord, he said, the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. Glory to God. In other words, God was his provider. How are you going to be a lender and not a borrower when you don't know your benefits, when you don't know your rights? But this leader told them, go and eat what is rich. Let me tell you something. Now, this was natural. The leader was telling them, go eat what is rich. So now, glory to God, we want to deal with that. In the spiritual realm, when you are a Christian, you got to eat that which is rich. You cannot get around negative people, glory to God, who don't understand nothing, who don't read the Bible, but they keep up mess thousand percent of the time. Glory to God. So you don't supposed to eat that. When you know your benefits in God, you're supposed to eat what God tell you to eat. You can't be around places that is full of negativity. You can't eat all kind of stuff. And continue to be a joyful Christian. Look what the word say. Since today is holy to our Lord, do not grieve. Anything that's going to grieve you, whether the words out of people's mouth or the places that you go or the things you find yourself entangled in, that ain't God. God said, be not grieved. Look what he said. For the joy <laughs> of the Lord is your strength. Glory to God. Now, how are you going to have joy and grief too? It don't operate like that. When you see the words that come out of people's mouth, if they come in to belittle you, you can't eat that. The Bible didn't tell you to eat belittling words. He told you to eat the rich of the land. He told you to eat the wealth of the land. You don't, you, you, you don't listen to negativity. You don't listen to belittlement. Come on up in here. Glory to God. You're supposed to eat the richness, the wealth. That's why so many people in poverty. They eat in the words of what somebody done said. Girl, you ain't going to never be nothing. Boy, you're going to always do this. You're going to always do that. But the Bible comes to make them out of a liar. Glory to God. Leave the land of Uno. Don't fool with Sabbath. You got a lot of Sabbaths in your family, in your friends. When they don't have anything kind to say, stay away from them. That don't mean, glory to God, you're being mean. It just means that you know your rights in God. Glory to God. God is a God of respect. God is a God of honor. And when these things are not happening, you will grieve when you be around them, then why be around them? Glory to God. Quite nice. They're going to say all kinds of things. But it shouldn't touch you. You know why? You got joy with sin. The Bible didn't give you grief. He gave us joy. And anything going to tamper with that joy, stay away from it. Anything, glory to God, that going to affect the joyness in you, you need to leave that alone. Because you heard what the leader said. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Now, if you lose your joy, you don't have no strength. And this is what the devil likes. He loves for us to be grieved. He don't like joy, period. Because he knows when you are joyful, you are powerful. You're going to do things to tear his kingdom down. So don't let anybody rain on your parade. Uh, on your parade. Do what you got to do. If you got to dance in the rain, do it. Joy. In spite of joy. In spite of how they talk about your joy. In spite of how they gossip and lie about things that they don't even know about. Joy. Somebody shout joy. Joy is my strength. Not you, boo-boo. You're not my strength. You grief. But you can't come in my house. Glory to God. You can't enter in my spiritual house. Because why? I'm joyful. Look to your neighbor and say, joy. Do what you got to do to be joyful. If it take clapping your hand, baby, clap your hand. If it take uh, 
pumping your feet. Glory to God, pump your feet. Be joyful because the Bible said the joy of the Lord is our strength. Why are we joyful? We are joyful because God has brought us out of Egypt. He has brought us out of darkness. We may have never known the richness and the wealth of God until we found God. I heard the sermon said, I kept on searching. Hey, glory to God, until I found the Lord. Y'all finding many things, but it's not the Lord. Because see, when you begin to find the Lord, there's joy there. There's peace there. There's patience. Happiness, long suffering. Keep on searching till you find the real, living, and true God. Joy. Because you're not in the place that you used to be. That's joy. You can live your life freely. You can live your life, glory to God, without looking back. Look to your neighbor and say, only people of indecisions look back. They're indecisive. They look back on the things, glory to God that God has brought them through. Don't look back. Move forward. It's, it's not about what anybody say. If you were in Egypt, I ain't looking back. I'm running. I'm running. Why? Because Lot wife looked back. Glory to God. And guess what happened? She turned into a pillow of salt. Glory to God. There are some Egyptians running behind us. Come on up in here. All of us. Don't care nothing about whether you the doctor, the bishop, the pope, the president of the United States, the governor, whatever your calling may be, the devil don't care anything about us. There is some Egyptians running behind us. Glory to God to steal our joy. To remind you of what you used to be. Or where you come from. Glory to God. But look to the devil and tell the devil I'm not there any longer. Glory to God. You stay in Egypt. In Sodom and Gomorrah. But I'm going on. I made up in my mind I'm going on. And everything that's connected until you have to have the mind to go on. Can I teach you? Go eat what is rich. Look to your neighbor and say, don't eat nothing else. If it ain't rich, kick it out. Be like a hen. Kick it right on out. Uh-uh. I can't eat that. That's what you talking is crap. I can't eat that. That what you talking is slop. I can't eat that. When you become a person that goes to Bible study, goes to Sunday school, goes and get the word of God, you become wealthy. Look to your neighbor and say, you don't have to have no money in your pocket to be wealthy. When you get a hold to the word of God, you are wealthy. You are rich with knowledge. In other words, glory to God, the Bible says that the lamp of the Lord is a light unto our feet. My God, it will send you in directions of prosperity. It will send you in directions of peace. It will send you into the uh, land of miracles. It will send you with signs and wonders. But when you eat everything else but the richness, you will always be gloom and doom. And there are some people, they are gloom and doom. Glory to God, you can't be around them. Because why? They tamper with that joy God talks about. He said, know your joy. Your strength isn't in people. Your strength isn't in family or friend. Your strength ain't in glory to God a lot of things. Why? Because God is your joy. He's going to take you where joy is. He's not going to take you where all of this stuff going on. He's going to carry you around anything that is not like God. The Bible said in Job 1 and 1, Job was an upright man. And anything that was evil, he avoided it. Look to your neighbor and say, if I avoid you, it's because something within you isn't right. And I got to avoid you. Why? Because you after my joy. You after my peace. Listen, what happened to Eve? She let the devil got into her head. And sometimes when you get around family and friends, they, 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 they begin to do things that they shouldn't do because why are they trying to get in your head? But you can't let nothing get into your head but the word of God. Eat the richness. If it ain't rich, if it ain't wealthy, I don't want it. And I'm not talking about having a million dollars in my pocket. If you come in boo-boo to tamper with the word in me, you got another thing coming. Glory to God. Can I teach you? Go and eat what is rich. 
I keep repeating that because the spirit keep saying, go eat that which is rich. You eating too much of foolishness. This is why you can't go from point A to point B to point C, D and on up all the way to Z because you eating stuff that you shouldn't eat. You don't eat anything that's going to tell you you can't do a thing. Glory to God. You just got some demons. Amen. Glory to God that love the tamper. But how many know glory to God when you become men's and women's of God, you become authority. Very authoritative. And people are not going to like that because they feel like, glory to God, that you are bigoting. You're not bigoting. You are just doing what you are taught to do. See, I love Sunday school. Hey, I love Bible study. Glory to God. I love studying even when I'm not at church. I just don't lay on Facebook. Look, tell somebody the, the green light be on. But Dr. Jones ain't there. I lied to be in Wayne's, but I lied to be on a ship. I lied to be on a plane. The green light stay on. Why? Because I don't want nothing to hack my page. Listen, I've had that page since 2009. I know a lot of people have changed pages and glory to God, closed them out, not, but not me. I'm a blessing. Amen, praise the Lord, because I had it 14 years. Never changed my page. Why? Because I know how to handle my page. I don't try to handle everybody else's page because that's their business. You do you, and I'm going to do me. Whatever people post, do not bother me. Why? That's not concerning me. That's their page. You know, a lot of times we read into Facebook a little bit too much. Facebook is about the mind. It said what's on your mind. It's totally a mind page. So glory to God, when you let it start affecting your mind, you are not eating the rich. Many people let what goes on on Facebook get into their head and in their spirit because you, 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 you on there for the wrong reason, boo-boo. See, if you get on there and put word on there, if you get on there and put positivity on there, then you won't have, uh, glory to God, room and time enough to go read posts that's going to aggravate your spirit. No, but boo-boo, what you do is you don't use Facebook as a greater work tool, you use it for a newspaper. You, 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 you use it for a gossip column. You, you, you just go down reading what people said to give you something to talk about. Then you have no earthly value. Who have you won to the Lord since you've been on Facebook? Listen, uh, in 2009, when I opened that Facebook page, Shay Shay taught me how to... Um, Glory to God, open up the Facebook page. She said, Mama, you need a Facebook page. Glory to God. Now, she done got off of it because she said, to her, Facebook is for old people. <laughs> and I do agree, glory to God, because guess what? I won't repent for being elderly, but glory to God, amen. You know, what children say sometimes is funny. So she's not on Facebook, but she didn't want to introduce me to Facebook, glory to God. So when I got on there in 2009, Glory to God. It wasn't, my page didn't have no friends, no kind of activity. It was ground zero. And this is what built Rappaport on my Facebook page. Glory to God, I began to put word up there. Listen, when you're a preacher, you have the mind of God. So your job on Facebook is not to, 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 to fellowship and make, your job is to be a messenger for Christ. So every day I would get up, glory to God, and I would put words, I would put lessons up there. And all lo and behold, my, my page went skyrocketing. Glory to God. Amen. Out of no way. Wasn't looking for it. But it was, it was about the word. And I, I, I love to put joyful things up there. I don't, I don't like to uh, put things up there going to make people sad and all that. I have to put happy things up there. Okay, glory to God. So I began to do this, amen. And then the Rappaport was built. It was built. Because see, I look at the people on Facebook as my cyber family. Glory to God. As my cyber friends. Family and friends. Glory to God. And I want to build a warm environment. I want to build a page, glory to God. When you get on there, you may be sick in your body and you'll be healed. 
I want to be a, a page where if you needed a miracle, if you get on Dr. Jones page, you get your miracle. I, I want to build a page if you was in financial despair. When you get on Dr. Jones' page, something about what I said will give, amen, you the motivation to go get wealth. Glory to God. This is what type of vision I have. I don't have a vision of gossiping and, and running down people's timeline and telling lies and, and getting up in the pulpit talking about Facebook. Facebook is not my sermon. That ain't no sermon. That's gossip. Glory to God. I talk about the word when I go to church. I'm not studying them people on Facebook. The Facebook is the world. I do what I do. As long as they ain't bother me, I don't bother them. This is what we got to do. Go and eat what is rich. Now, as long as them people on that fighting, then y'all will share that all day long. All day long. You share foolishness. But when it comes to something that's really going to bless you, you don't share that. You don't, you, you don't think that's a value. But you must eat what is rich. Drink what is sweet. God ain't a sour God. I have taught you today, glory to God, from the book of Nehemiah 8 and 10. Go and eat what is rich. Anything that is not rich, baby, don't eat it. It's not for you. I bring you greetings again from... Gospel Explosion Word Ministry, 811 South Street, under the direction of none other than the Honorable Bishop Willie Jones, Jr. We have service every Sunday, starting with prayer at 10 o'clock, 1015 Sunday School, glory to God, 11 o'clock a.m. morning worship. Amen. And if you come, amen, by 1230, you don't miss it. Amen. Because we're going somewhere to get something to eat. Glory to God. And tell somebody somewhere. Baby, go and eat what is rich. Quit eating all that sour stuff. Anything that's going to grieve your joy, don't eat it. You don't have to eat what people say. Listen, a, a, a lot of people say a lot of things about me, Bishop, all the time. But we and, and get back to us. And guess what? We don't eat it. We don't pay it no attention. We ignore it. And we ignore them that's sending it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This is how you got to live. When you know you're saved for real. Now, if you're not saved for real, then you put your knuckles up and want to fight. Glory to God. Now, you don't, you, I'm not a person. Hey, I'm a joy, joyful person. I'm not going to bother anybody that don't bother me. Glory to God. I'm just going to be at peace. Say what you want.